Millwall CK, welcome back to the channel. We have a little bit to get through. It's been a little while since I've done um, <clears throat> a video. Excuse me. The last one was obviously the fixture release. Um, this, we have a little bit more to get through. We've got a little bit of transfer roundup, um, contracts to talk about, um, coaching staff coming in. Um, so yeah, let's get into it, man. Um, so this week, um, I'm sure a lot of you know, um, Gary Rowett came out and said um, that Millwall and Jed Wallace um, still have not come to an agreement over a new contract. Um, for me, I feel as though Jed might be on the way out in the summer. Um, but with a little bit of news that's filtered through this morning, I think I've changed my mind. Um, the little bit of news that filtered through this morning is that Millwall are looking to bring back George Savile. George Savile left the club in 2019, 2019, something like that, 2018, 2019, uh, for a fee of 8 mil um, to Middlesbrough. Um, Millwall um, have gone back in for him this morning. Um, George Savile is down at Millwall Training Ground this morning. He's undertaking a medical ahead of a permanent switch back to the den. George Savile... Um, was told that he would be confined to um, very minimal game time at Borough this season now. Um, and with that, George Savile has decided to leave and come back to Millwall for his fourth spell with the Lions. Um, for me, a record, a, a goal-scoring midfielder, um, a midfielder who um, was influential um, in our season when we nearly broke into the playoffs... Um, he scored 10 goals that season. Um, for me, this is a huge dub. Um, this is the big dub. We could have had Ryan Woods. Um, but no, we've got George Savile. And I couldn't be more over the fucking moon um, at the fact that George Savile, um, maybe tomorrow now, the announcement, um, or later this afternoon, but George Savile is going to rejoin Millwall. Um, and that's a huge, huge positive. Um, for me, obviously, back to Jed. With Jed now and George Savile coming back in, maybe Jed will now re-sign uh, uh, sign a new contract um, because uh, uh, Savile's not the only signing we've made or going to make. Um, it was reported this morning, maybe an hour ago now, but Benick Afobi, yes, Benick Afobi is back. He's back in a Millwall shirt. Um, I'm happy for him. Um, I'm excited for this, actually, to be honest with you. Um, I was really, really gutted for him um, and the way it ended. Was it 2013? I think it was 2013. Gutted with the way it ended in 2013. Um, I'm going to stick with 2013. Um, when he had to go back to Arsenal um, after suffering an injury, um, which was very unfortunate. Um, I'm excited for, for Benick to come back. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what he can do in a middle shirt once again. Um, I'm hoping he can score a few goals. He was on loan at Trabzon Spor last season, I believe, where he played 37 games um, and scored five goals. Um, so hopefully we can get a better return out of him um, in the championship this season. Hopefully he's that striker. He's that striker, hopefully, that we need to propel us into them playoff spots. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Um, also, yesterday was announced we have a new Paul Robinson in the building. Um, yes, leader, legend, Paul Robinson, still coaching the youth team or the under-20s, under-21s, wherever they may be. But we have the guy that played for Bolton, I think it was, uh, maybe Leeds, I think it was, uh, Birmingham. Yeah, that Paul Robinson in on the coaching staff. Um, was captain of the Gary Rowe at Birmingham. Um... So let's see how this pans out. Uh, an addition to the coaching team. Um, looking like we're trying to... Um, what should I say? Looking like we're trying to, trying to build a foundation now um, around this squad of players and around the club. Looking like we're trying to um, sustain a push. Looking like we're trying to go to that next level. Last season, we know last season was um, not great. Hopefully this season is going to be better. Um, Daniel Ballard, young Arsenal centre-back, right-sided centre-back, has joined Millwall on loan. Ballard spent last season on loan in League One 
with Blackpool. I believe he scored two goals. Um, I don't know much about him, to be honest with you, so uh, I can't comment and say it's going to be good. All Gary Rowett came out and said is that he's hoping that young Ballard will get um, a lot of first-team minutes this season. Um, I'm hoping he gets a few first-team minutes. I can't say I want him to get a lot. Obviously, we've got Cooper and Hutchinson as our main centre-backs. Um, so for Ballard, it's just a case of waiting your turn um, and seeing what comes, really. Obviously, there's cup competitions that are out there that he's going to be able to play in. League Cup, FA Cup, all of that nonsense. Yeah, Daniel Ballard has joined Millwall. Is there anything else that I'm missing? I do not think so. Um, obviously, we know Hayden Muller went and joined um, St. Johnston on loan. A St. Johnson on loan. Which for me, sorry, which for me, um, good move for him. Good move for him, obviously. Uh, St. Johnston got links with Millwall. Obviously, Callum Davidson, their manager, um, was coaching staff with Gary Rowett. Um, so for some of our players to go up there and get some first team minutes, um, good for him. Good for the young kid, um, obviously. Um, they could play, play Europa League football or Europa Conference League football. Fucking hell, that Europa Conference League, man. Um, so that would be good for him for uh, get all of that kind of experience to come back uh, a man. You know, they say that you leave a boy and you come back a man. Hopefully, he leaves a boy and comes back a man. It happened with Danny Mack. Um, when he went up there, obviously, we've seen the results. And... Yeah. I think that's it. I really think that's it. I think um, James Brown also went back up there. Um, Isaac Olafi, I think his name is, looking like he's going to be part of the first team this season. Um, I think he scored about 15 goals for Sutton United last season um, on their way to securing their first ever promotion to the EFL. For me, I'm a bit confused as to what's happening in this transfer window. We signed uh, George Long um, on a free from Hull, goalkeeper. Obviously, we brought back in um, Scott Malone um, from Derby after his contract expired. We've now brought in, um, or going to be bringing in George Saville. We've brought in Dan Ballard. We've brought in Benneka Um Oh, another thing. Um, Liam DeLapp. Rory Delap's son. Gary Rowett came out this morning and said that he is going to be a talent um, that is going to be wanted by um, a lot of clubs. Now, whether or not, because um, I believe Gary Rowett and Rory Delap they worked together at Stoke, whether or not um, we're going to sign this young striker from Manchester City on loan uh, remains to be seen. Um, for me, personally... I'd go for it. Um, you never know what might happen. Um, he might join, he might not. But unless you, you put in an offer and, and, and try and get the deal over the line, you're just never going to know. For me, I'd love to see it happen, but let's wait and see. Um, I'm just wondering now if this is going to be um, all the business done because I know Gary Rowett said that he wanted to have all or or, all or pretty much all of his um, signings done. I think, before they head off to Scotland at the beginning of next week. Um, so that remains to be seen. Whether or not we're going to make any more signings in this window. Um, I've not heard no news about whether or not um, Jake Cooper has indeed undergone uh, shoulder surgery from last season. Because as we know, Jake Cooper dislocated his shoulder twice last season against Birmingham. Funnily enough, twice against Birmingham. Um, you can't write it, really. Um... Remains to be seen. I've not heard no news about that. So um, let's just see. Obviously, um, Alex Pierce and uh, Matt Smith signed new contracts over the summer. Um, I think one year extensions. Um, and for me, um, I'm just, um, I'm a bit shocked. Um, I'm a bit shocked. Um, I don't really know what to think um, about this transfer window. It's all come at us a bit thick and fast. Um I'm absolutely delighted, um, delighted to say the least, um, 
with uh, the business that we have done and are still con continually doing. Obviously, with George Savile still not completely wrapped up, we've got to wait for that announcement. But it's pretty much 95% done. Um, for me, this window um, is just turning into an absolute peach. Um, I'm excited for the new season. Um, I can't wait to see what these group of players have got in store for us this season. Um, I genuinely feel that this group of players is a strong group of players, or is going to be a strong group of players. Um, we've got a really kind of hard opening first, let's say, month of the season. Um, let's see what happens. Uh, get behind the boys. Um, I know you will do anyway. We all do. We love this game. We love this club. Um, I'm absolutely delighted to see, as I say again, to see this business that's been going going on and in and around the club. Uh, long may it continue. Uh, I'm excited to see what, what it brings. Uh, and if there's any more news, you know where to come. I'll be here. I'll be filming. I'll be uploading. Please like and subscribe. Drop a comment. Without further ado, come on, you lions.